Welcome to the 2014 season of Hockamock League football with the Warriors of Foxborough High School. Today's matchup is the Division IV South semifinal playoff between the Foxborough Warriors and the Panthers of Holliston High School. Coming to you from the Bedros Comedian Field in Holliston. Bringing you all of today's exciting football action are Doug Seuss and Frank Jafoon. Now, let's join Doug and Frank down on the field for today's pregame commentary. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very, very big game tonight between the Foxborough Warriors and the Holliston. Uh, what, are, what are they? The Panthers. The Panthers, I knew that. Okay. Uh, we're here tonight. This is the second round of the MIAA Division IV um, Football Championship Series. Um, this game is a much anticipated game, all kidding aside. Foxborough with a record of 6-2 and two, and Holliston with an undefeated 8-0 record. Um, I'm Frank Jafoon with my friend Chuck Robbins. Chucky's been on stage before, so he knows what this is all about. We're waiting for our other good friend, Doug Seuss, who's probably in this traffic out here that's uh, insurmountable to a certain degree. But uh, as, as we talk about this game tonight, we're talking about a tremendous Holliston high school football team. Um, they're averaging 41 points a football game, um, and uh, Foxborough's going to have everything they, they uh, can uh, to stop the offense. But uh, give you a little bit about this. Uh, our very studious uh, uh, color man here, Chuck Robbins, is going to give us a little bit, about, uh, little bit about these Holliston Panthers. Well, Frank, in the 12 minutes you gave me to, um, to bone up on Holliston uh, when I got the call, uh, I did some quick internet research, and you know, you get what you pay for when you're looking on the internet. But the, the Holliston quarterback, Nick Athey, he's a senior. He's the real deal. I've never seen numbers like this regarding a high school quarterback. I'm sure they exist. I'm just not familiar with them. Uh, he's passed in this his senior year for just under 12,000 yards. He's had 14 touchdowns through the year. And here's the number that really boggles the mind. As a quarterback, He's run for 946 yards, yes. and he's scored 19 touchdowns. Uh, I question the validity of that 946 <laughs> yards, but, but A.J. Dooley was talking with us before the game and said he's averaging on the ground 120 yards a game, so the math works. Um, normally, you would say if a team is uh, you're playing is scoring 41 points a game, the onus is on the defense to stop them. I kind of take the opposite view, Frank, and I think that if Foxborough's offense can stay on the field, uh, Holliston can't score without the football. And I really think the pressure is on Foxborough to stay on the field. They have a grind them out offense. They have for the last 35 years. That could work in their favor tonight. In fact, it's probably a necessity because if you fall behind Holliston quickly, uh, it's going to be a tough road to hope. Yeah, thanks, Chuck. Uh, we, we, really need to, we really need to control the ball to control the clock to keep these guys off the field. A.J. Dooley told us before the game that if we can hold them under 21 points and obviously, obviously score a little bit more than that, we're going to win this football game. This is a high-powered offense. This is one of the best football teams in the state. And this is the third time that we're playing against undefeated teams this year. The loss to Stoughton, undefeated team. Um, who's the other one? Uh, uh, lost to Walpole. Undefeated team. They're both undefeated. This is another great football team that we're going to have to play tonight. So I'm looking forward to it. You're looking forward to it. One comment uh, I'll add before I shut up. Uh, North Attleboro's offensive coordinator, Paul Sullivan, today was telling me that if you're looking for a commonality in terms of opponents, uh, the Holliston offense is run very much like Jim Otts does at Oliver Ames. Now, Foxborough had little problem with them, but I suspect the personnel here is a, is a great above uh, Oliver Ames. But that's something to keep in mind. There you go, sure. Okay, so there we go uh, with the pregame stuff. We'll be back with you in a couple of minutes. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned. Turn up your turn up turn the volume up. This is going to be a great one, folks.
Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the MIAA playoff game, uh, Division IV semifinal. Foxborough Warriors, Holliston Panthers here at uh, Holliston High School. This is Doug Seuss uh, with my partner, as always, Frank Jafoon, and special guest and now in charge of security, Chuck Robbins. Um, saw Chuck in the pregame uh, with Frank. I'm sure he filled in uh, very well for me, probably better. And, well, I might also add we have uh, Chet Harrington in, on security as well uh, <laughs> over there because we are nestled in amongst a lot of red and black uh, apparel uh, on the uh, home <laughs> side. And uh, Foxborough won the toss and they will receive. Also will be kicking off, teeing up for Holliston is uh, Grant Buchanan, number two. And back for Foxborough looks like Keon Neal's the deep guy. Little, to little. Be underway. I got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. Got a deep kick, and that is fielded by Neil. He's going to try the near sideline. He's got room. He's got a lot of room here, and he's going to break it out uh, close to the uh, mid, uh, 40 yard line. Number 25. Come on, Neil. Kian Neal on the return for the <laughs> Warriors. Out to the Foxborough 39 yard line. First and 10, Warriors. All right, ball is going to be on the 39-yard line of Foxborough. And again, the familiar shotgun formation. First down. And Rogers takes a snap and hands off to Neal, who bounces off a couple tacklers. And he's going to gain about two yards before he's stopped. Uh, Matt McIsaac, and number 11. Uh, Matt by number 54, Michael 54, Chipman. Number Michael Chipman Isaac. on the tackle. Okay, Second I think, okay, I am I back here? You are, I can hear you. Okay, good. So Ball right there we the see uh, Neil bounce off a few line. guys. Again, Chipman and McIsaac make the tackle. Gains like three, so it'll be a second and seven. Doug, we were talking about at the beginning of this game how we have to control the clock by controlling the ball. And uh, they and they said they were going to come out throwing the football too. Yeah, so, is complete. And, and, we, we, have some, we have some wins here in uh, that ball. Rogers out to Ryan out across the 45 yeah, yard line. Uh, Austin Ryan on the reception there for about a down four to yard the gain. 47 so. yard line, third down and two. This is just a quick out, Frank. Yep. Just a little three strike drop. Yep. Ryan, nice catch. And a really good catch over the shoulder. So yep. it brings up a manageable third and two situation here. Uh, ball out at about the 47-yard line of Foxborough. Playing on a turf, turf surface here at Halston High School. Now Martin joins. And we're going to see Neil going to try ahead. Neil's going to be stopped uh, yeah, right he's, around the marker. He's close. He is close. Uh, the official on our side is spotting it at the 49, which would give him a first down. Spot of the ball is out to the 49-yard line. That's a first down for Foxborough. It okay, is. there you go. And let's move the chains. All right, right we got about a 40 degree night here. Uh, we got a wind, we got a pretty good wind at Foxborough's back right now, Doug. Line. Yeah. Well, here's the key stay, stay in contact with the ball. All right, now we get empty backfield. Rogers is back by himself. He's got all five receivers in the pattern, and he has a quick out over there to Gilreath. And Gilreath is going to get about seven Rogers, yards around that 13, reception. One thing we notice about Hollis, and they, the they've told us in the, in the, the pregame, Doug, let's, let's take a look at this. Line they, of scrimmage. They Panther told us well, Holliston is a man-to-man -man team, which could bode well with with our passing game. Right. I think I think we're going to be able to throw the ball pretty well tonight, Doug. I hope anyway. Nick Isaac again, number 11 on the tackle there, but Gilreath picks up uh, almost down. eight yards. He's got a second and two. Now Martin is alone back. We're going to see Neil join him, and we're going to have a toss to Martin, and he's got, yeah, he's, he's a little shy. Martin on the pitch. He's close, but he's going to be shy. It's going to be third and inches here. That was, that was a nice tackle, if we can see that, Mike. Ronnie Martin, obviously, we talked about him at, at infinitum. Let's, let's watch him hit the line, but it's a very good, very good tackle. Ronnie behind Booth there, but. 21 and 22. Going from right to left. The Panthers yep, Keys, right, Justin Keys, 22. All right, we got Playing the defensive end position there. And again, Rogers is in, still in the shotgun. Halson's got seven guys in the box, and we're going to see a straight ahead hit. We're going to see, a, we're first gonna see down. a first down by Neil. He's still going. He's Neil got a host, host of uh, Panthers bringing him down. Tackled by Athy. 
I see the, the offensive line the has. Yep. That's a first down for Foxborough. Elkinson, number three, and out the uh, on the tackle Timeout for them. The and we have a down warrior, and that could be our running back there. Injury timeout on the field. I believe it is uh, Neil. I was just getting ready to say the offensive line is coming off the ball hard. And what, what we've seen when that happens is Foxborough moves the ball on the ground very well. Um, the, as we've noticed before, or known before or said before, we don't have a lot of size on that offensive line, but maybe for uh, uh, Booth. And um, what we do have is we do have tenacity. Yeah. This offensive line is a very tenacious outfit. They come off the ball hard. When they come off the ball hard, the holes are quick. We have two, two running backs that run the ball very hard and hit the hole very quickly and key on Neil and, uh, and Ronnie Martin. And Neil is up and he's going to be that's able a, to walk off under his sign. own power. He's going to have to take a playoff here. Yep. But he did pick up the first down, so Foxborough is uh, first and ten for the ball. They the are Panther inside yard line. the uh, Panther 40 at the 38. You can probably hear through our headset here. We're right underneath the press box. Uh, so you'll be hearing a lot of uh, noise, noise, play by play from the Halston announcer, but Foxborough has picked up two first downs now and uh, moving the ball. And as you said, Frank, ball control is key. First down. Work that clock. It's the name of this game right here. This is a very good football team we're playing, as everybody so we knows. Have, we have Ryan in motion and it's cross scissors to Ronnie Martin. And Ronnie's got a oh. lot of room to run there. Ronnie, he just ran over. Number three, number just three, annihilated uh, him. Elkinson tried to bring down Martin one-on-one, -on -one, and Ronnie just ran him over and, and picks up about 15 yards on that carry. Straight ahead here, there's, 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 there's the fake the and then the scissor play, and Ronnie just boom, oh, you see that? Yeah. He annihilated that number three, Elkinson. Yeah. The 24-yard line. Let's go, Fox, also on that tackle. Fox Bros. Martin little, not going to get much this uh, time. A little jigger, but uh, about, uh, about, uh, about two yards Down on that. The 21 yard but, line. Yep, 53 on the tackle there. The favor. Uh, so we'll gain a two. Not much happening on this one, Frank. You know, if they take a look at Ronnie, he gets about two or three yards, but uh, there's like three or four guys there to greet him. So Foxwell driving down at the Halston 22 yard line. And again, Neil still uh, out. He has not checked back in yet. And we're coming with a blitz. And Rogers is going to roll out. He's got a receiver there. He's, He's going to be caught. That's yeah. yeah. Gilreath. That's Gilreath. He's only a yard shy. Yeah. Uh, nice job of Nolan Rogers avoiding that blitz rolling yeah. out to his right. Absolutely. We're going to see a lot of him tonight. Third down and one. So we have a third and one Four situation. Boxes. Take a look at Nolan here rolling to the right. You can see the pressure coming up on him. And, on the run, he makes a nice throw, and Gilreath right there down on the third ground down. to scoop that off the turf. So third and, third and one, and again, Neil is, is still out. Go, we have trips to the near side. We're gonna draw Paulson off sides. We're gonna run a play here. We got a guy wide open in the middle of the field. You gotta play that, guys. Flag on the play. This is gonna be off sides on the defense. We better hope it's not motion. Big I, I, here, here's you know we get a free play if this is offsides on the defense we get a free play right here and I'm almost sure, there it is Holliston. yep now there it is. He, down the middle of the field Austin Ryan's down the middle of the field Nolan Rogers has no idea that he's open in the middle of the field and eventually just throws it up and he gets intercepted which is negated by the penalty but had he seen Austin Ryan he's got six points finish the play Austin finish the play down short, short of the end zone so we are on the 10 so it'll be uh Looks like we can pick up a first down, Frank. The way we we stick, have a first down. Them. Yeah, but it looks like yeah. it's oh. first and goal. No, yep, they pulled the chains away. The chain, first so and goal to go. It's for first and goal Fox. here, and Martin again is the lone back. And again, we almost get Halston to jump, and Martin's going to pick up two. Yeah, not much there. Go. He started outside, tried to break it back inside. Well, I tell you, if, they're, if their goal was to kill the clock the right now, they're down to about five minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah. Once again, you're going to see. Well, we're going to pick it up at the end here, but the good penetration right there by Halston. And again, that's number 22. Uh, Keese was in there to make the tackle. So Ronnie picks up one. Timeout. Foxborough. And Foxborough's going to burn a timeout here. They got five, so might as well use one. We are at five minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. 
Uh, Halston yet to touch the timeout. ball. Foxborough doing a great job. They started at their own 39 yard line and basically have moved the ball 60 yards thus far and sitting at a second and goal from the nine. Well, well, I got a second here. The referee is Jim Walsh. The umpire is Brandon Thompson. Linesman is Bob Foley. Field judge is Dan Smith. Back judge is Bill Graham. And the clock is Mark Canner. Second down and goal to go for Foxborough. All right, Neal is still not in the game here. And uh, Foxborough will pass. And Rogers steps in right. Oh, oh great, great play. play right there is right. That was a touchdown all the way. Great Number play. Number 12, that's the uh, quarterback. Well, Nick Gaffey. Nick Gaffey, who also is the quarterback for Halston, breaks that up at the last second. We can see that, Michael. Now, let's take a look at Athey's right hand coming across here. Nice play. Nice yeah. play. That was uh, number three, Buzniak, the intended receiver. So Foxborough's a third and nine now. And the one thing that we got to keep in mind, too, is Foxborough, should they decide to go for a field goal, we got a strong kicker in Kyle Will. Hopefully we won't need him. Hopefully only for the extra point. Third down. So Foxborough's going to break oh, with no. twin receivers right and left. Martin again is alone back. We have motion by Austin Ryan. We have a blitz on the backside. The screen pass is set up. Well set, well up. set up. And we well have a touchdown set by Foxborough. Up. Touchdown. Outstanding. Great Rogers job by Nolan Ryan. Great, great play out. call. Great play call. Great job by the offensive line. Outstanding. The it's they almost made, like we knew that they were coming blitz. Six, exactly. Boy, they made that look, look easy, didn't they? Yeah. So 61-yard drive culminates with a nine-yard Rodgers to uh, Martin uh, screen pass. Now we'll take a look down. at Kyle Will's extra point try here. And we got a good kick here. Yeah, the it's kick good. good. So Foxborough jumps out to a 7 0 lead. Seconds remaining in the first quarter. Foxborough We're going to go back to the touchdown here, nothing. and you're going to see a hard blitz. And this is partially by design, too. Oh, yeah. The we'll linemen draw in. come in, and uh, look at that. The whole side is sealed right there. Really nice job. Great play call by Coach Madiri. So Rogers uh, completes about three passes on this drive, mixed in with some good running from Neil originally, and then Ronnie Martin, and we're on the board. Outstanding effort by everybody there, including that offensive line. So now we're going to see Halston come on the attack. And back for them will be Elkington, number three, and number 12, Athey. Ain't often you see a uh, quarterback returning kicks for him. No, I know it. I know it. And playing defense, same time. Yeah. This kid is all everything here. Halston comes into the game as the Tri Valley Large Division champions, 8 uh, 0, the number one seed in our uh, playoff division. Foxborough is seeded fourth at six and two, winning a nail biter last week against Westwood. Well, we're going to get an opportunity to see this offense now, this uh, vaunted off offense by Holliston. All right, averaging so over this, 40 this points. Be Elk again. Elkinson is going to take the ball right through the middle, and he's got a lot of room. He's got out across the 35 to about the Elkinson 36. Cut from behind by number 21, Trevin Lavaud. Trevin Lavaud, 21, and uh, Jack Foley, 22 on the tackle for the Warriors. First and 10, Panthers. So good kick by Will, but a better Got return by Elkinson. And uh, Hollison sets up first down, 10 to go at their own 36-yard line. They're not small up front. No, they got some size there. And they, too, run the uh, shotgun formation. And... Uh, uh, here we go, Athey's the quarterback, long count. And we're gonna see Elk, uh, uh, keep it himself. Athey keeps it, Why? and he gains. Gain him about 14, yards. 15. 14 yards, yeah. He's, he's the one, he's the athlete. The quarterback is good for a Panther. First down. And they, they're going, they're going let's, no huddle here. Let's but, take a look again. And we're gonna see the same play, and this time, we have Connor yeah, Downs, 44 carry. in a tackle, but two plays, two runs against our left side. Oh, yeah. Does it look familiar? Boy, that's uh, that's something they've been watching. The Second down, eight. All right. Let's go, Rams! Foxborough does some switching up on the line now. We still see Athey at the quarterback position. And this time he's going to drop back the pass. He's got pressure. He escapes it. He throws a pretty good pass. It's completed. Elkinson, number pass three, catches that at the 30-yard line. Elkinson at the 
Number four, and I'm going to get this right this week, uh, Connor McNamara on the tackle. I've been calling him. And that pass play from Athlete Elkins is good for a Panther. First down. I've been calling him Buckner for the last uh, couple of games. I apologize there First and ten, to Connor McNamara. So Hollison picks up another first down, and now we're going to see a little Elkinson. Elkinson to the left side, and he's got room to run. And real quickly, they're answering and, uh, Foxborough's three, uh, drive. And they pick up yet another first the down. Line. Their offense is as advertised. A lot, of, a lot of movement, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of east-west action. Clarksville Outsta takes a timeout. Outstanding athletes. Outstanding athletes. This is going to be a game. First and ten, Panthers. At the Foxborough 19-yard line. Timeout on the field. Yeah, you're right there, Frank, as far as some size. They get some big boys here. Yep. You know, across their front, we get some weights here. I can see the uh, number 72 is uh, six foot two eighty one. Uh, th that's a big boy. Two seventy two on on uh, number seventy. Yeah, yeah. They 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 def definitely big. They're definitely big there. So Foxborough needs to make an adjustment. They've in, in four plays, Halston has picked up three first downs and they have the ball on the Warrior nineteen yard line. First and ten. Three forty two remaining in the first quarter. Now we're going to see First the offense spread out Austin. a little bit more. We got Elkinson way far right. And still shotgun. And Athey's going to keep it once again. He's going to go to the right, our, our left. And he this time he snuffed out Dave Henry, Athey 42, on is in on Nine that tackle. Yard line. Uh, again with uh, Gain of three. McNamara. Second down, seven. You know, he, he's, a, he's a kid who makes you miss. He he's, does. He's, all, he's moving all the time, that young man. Yeah, running no huddle. And McIsaac is in the backfield with him, but McIsaac has yet to get his hands on the ball. Now we're going to pass right in the middle, wide open. And we're going to have a touchdown. I think nope. we're just shy. Just shy. Well, he short arms the ball, though, doesn't he? Yep. He doesn't bring his arm back. And Andrew Keem. Andrew Kime, number 43 on Short the reception. The He's right in the middle of the Panther. field. First down. Let's take a, put, take First a look down at Athey's pass right here. At the one yard line. Kind of finds the opening in the defense. So now we got a new quarterback in there, number one, and he's going to toss it to Athey, who went back to the tailback position. So Barrett, Barrett went into quarterback. Athey drops back to the tailback. And you, you said, it, Frank, he, he's a Mr. Everything. So Halston strikes quickly about seven, eight plays. That young man has got to be hit on every play. Yeah. If we don't hit him on every play, shame on us because he's going to destroy us. Yeah. Well, Nick Athey with the touchdown for the Panthers. Athey's also the holder here, so you got to be careful. Panthers line up for the conversion. And we got a good kick. And the yep. kick by number two, Grant Buchanan is good. Buchanan's kick is good. 7-7. Two seven. minutes, 53 seconds remaining in the first quarter. The score is tied at seven. Well, took us six minutes to score. It took them about a minute and a half. Yeah. And again, our best defense may be ball control on the offense. So as long as at the end of the game, you're the last one with the chance to score to win the game, that's what you want. Yeah, absolutely. But well, we got to have another long drive now. Yeah. The wind is picking up. The gusts are certainly swirling here now, too. And, uh, it's blowing across the field yeah, towards Foxborough sideline. All right, Buchanan tees it up. And again, Neil, now Neil is back in the game. He's the deep back. And this is going to be sh short. short. And again, hard to see some of these numbers sometimes, but number 25, 32 yeah, for, for Foxborough. There's Ronnie line. Martin on the return. First and 10 Warriors at their own 33 yard line. So Foxborough start at their own 33. Not bad field position. Quarter. Fans, don't forget but to visit the It's encouraging to see Panther. Neil back in there. Absolutely. Oh, well, we got 249 field. left in the first Spirit period. For sale too, and and uh, we're going to see it. Foxborough had a lot of multiple uh, multiple uh, positions. And and Martin, again, Martin again, and, and he's stuffed. There. He's stuffed. Wow. 
Ch Chipman, 54. Martin on the carry. Met in the backfield by number 54, Michael Chipman. Chipman's a good-sized boy, too. Listen, it's 6-3, two and a quarter. Bill on the play, second down, 10. Yeah, this is not a small team by any means. No. We're going to have to put the ball in the air, Doug, I think. The wind is swirling, too. So Foxborough breaks the huddle again. Uh, Rogers at shotgun, flanked by Martin and Neal, and he is a little play action pass here. He's going to roll out to his right. He's going to run. He's going to have to run, oh. and he throws it out of bounds at and the last second. Pass is incomplete. He Pressure stepped out from number 22, Justin, and Keith. he'll lose a few yards. So Nolan had the Ruled right idea to get rid of the ball, but he held on to it just a, a second too long. Too long. Third down and 13. So Foxborough Fox loses a few yards, brings up a long third and 13. Ball back at their own 30 third yard down. line. And Rogers is we got we got a flag. We're gonna have some sort of illegal formation flag or something on the here. Play. Yeah. Motion. I didn't see any movement. Nah. I don't know if they had seven men on the line of scrimmage. Probably, probably a formation. Movement. No, they on got Fox movement. Yeah. It was movement. I didn't see it, but Mike, can we see that again, please? If that's possible. Let's take a peek. Who's moving here? Uh a little go, little please. bobble maybe by the slot receiver, but Not much. I've seen worse. Yeah. I was going to say, not much. So Foxborough sort, sort of self-destructing here with a third and 18. Third down and 18. Into 25. They need to get Fox out to Burrow the 43-yard line. 25-yard line. First down marker is at the 34. Well, you don't want to take a major chance here. No. Come on, Let's do it. Ryan will be the receiver near us. Third Neil down. lines up in the slot. Martin is still in the backfield. And Rodgers has got time. He's going deep. He's got a receiver, and that ball might he be caught. caught. He caught the ball. It's out of, bounds. out of bounds. Out of bounds. Wow. Great pass by Nolan Rodgers. Great catch. Who was that, Dougie? Yeah, it was Austin Ryan. Austin, Austin Ryan. I believe it was. Holliston stops him. Again, far sideline. It's hard to see these numbers, but it's either Buzniak or Ryan. And you really can't tell, but. Boy, it's, it's a great effort. He comes down with a grab, but he's going to be out of bounds. Might have been Buzniak. I believe it was. Ryan was on the near side, so it was Buzniak. So I think Pat McCarthy is now in for the Warriors to do the punting. Foxborough back to punt. Athy is back, no surprise there. Good snap. McCarthy's got plenty of time, and he gets off a decent kick. He's going to get a roll here, and it's going to go... Actually, he's got to roll backwards. Yeah, so they're, they're going to lose a couple off the bounce. They're going to have some good field Unknocked position. Out of bounds by a Holliston player at the 45-yard line. Yeah, 45-yard line. First and 10, Panthers. So Holliston sets up in real good field position for their second drive. 143 remaining in the first quarter. We're tied at seven. Well, as you know, this is a game of adjustments. Now, we have to adjust to this because this kid, Athy, is going to go crazy if we don't. Uh, he's, he's inside, he's outside, he throws yep. the ball well. But uh, we, we've got to adjust to everything they're doing. Absolutely. Let's see how. Let's see if we've done it. So. First down, Panthers. I think Athy's lined up as a wing back right now. We might have motion there. Too. It should have looked like there was some movement, and that's a that's a double wing formation. Number three Number is three, uh, Elkinson, Elkinson on the carry. He's going to pick up a couple. Gain of two yards. But I believe down, I believe Athy was lined up as the left wing. He is. He's lined yeah, up as the left wing right he now. He is. He is. And he's going to take a toss, uh, and this is where he can throw the ball as well. And boy, he's got room. He's going to get out close to that first down. The he's just shy. That's a page out of the Everett down offense the right there. That's exactly what they line. do right and left. They wear you Short out with that play. Down. Little motion. So again, Athey's still, and he's going to take the toss once again. He's going to pick up. First down, he just barely makes the 45 to of Foxborough, which is what he had to do. Just to Mike, can, Mike, can we see this line. one more time? I want to see this wing tee. Indication is that's good for a Panther. First down. Now let's take a look. 
Good. Oh, we, we didn't get a chance to see them how they set up, but both wings, if, if you look at them now, look at both wings looking at the center. Yep, and now we're gonna see the inside handoff. Nice trap play by 55. Boy, they got a lot of different yep. formations. Nikaj Nikajic takes that on the inside handoff on the counter, the and he picks up uh, eight yards. Second down, three. And again, no huddle, so Foxville doesn't have a chance to substitute here or anything. And we're gonna see Athey once again take this toss, and he's gonna have a first down once again. Athey on the carry across the 35 yard line. Well designed offense, down well designed. I'm two. impressed, I'm impressed. We got a lot of movement. And that's another Panther. Off we're, offensive oh. line pulling, trapping, everything. We're, we're, we're going we're, back in that double wing again. Here we're we go. down under half a minute here. That's Elkinson. And now we're just Elkinson the other way. And he breaks it up to the middle. Boy, he's quick, huh? Number three, Zach Elkinson on the carry out across the 20-yard line. And that run by number two is good for another Panther. First down. Yeah, we're going to take a look at this. They decided to finally come back the other way. It's really the same play, line. just a mirror image going the opposite side. And uh, Elkinson picks up the first down. We're going to see Athey again. And he's going to go right through the middle. And he's Athey on the carry gonna, across uh, the 10-yard line. Yep, we're going to have first and, and goal. that's good for another well, they, they killed, They killed the quarter, but boy, they, they're impressing me with this offense. Oh, it, yeah. Multiple formations, different ath different athletes every play, getting the, getting the football. Great blocking by the offensive line. They're as advertised. And they're actually, it's seven seconds left here. So, I'm not sure why the clock is stopped. I didn't see a timeout. No. Halston took a 20 second uh, they timeout. Did. Halston, yeah, yeah, they did. Halston must seven want, seconds for some reason, the clock in Halston the first must want to go in this end of the field. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is the wind. They got the wind coming at them the other side. I don't know. And Athey's going to score. Touchdown, Panther! Really too easy. We better watch out on this kid. I'm telling you. I, I hate to emphasize him, but he's ridiculously yeah, good. There he is. We do have a flag. We have a flag on a play. Dead ball foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Foxborough. So Foxborough compounds the situation by having a, an unsportsmanlike Counts. conduct call, Panthers ahead, 13, which will be assessed on the, the kickoff. Kick is good. And the kick is good. So 14-7 as the first quarter comes to an end. Time, in the first quarter, the Panthers 14. And Halston uh, is everything they're advertised seven. here. Let's take a look at Athey right here. He's strong, he's yeah. fast. I mean, he looks like a running back. He doesn't look like yeah, a quarterback. I mean, uh, it, it, his, it, he is certainly a multi-skilled uh, runner and uh, basically a running back that does play quarterback, but we've seen their opening drive, we've seen uh, them go with the pistol shotgun formation yep. where he ran the ball a few times. Double wing. The pass, then they go to double wing. Wing, wing T, double yeah. wing. Oh, yeah. So they've shown us two different looks, and we haven't been able to stop either one of them. Uh, the only yeah. thing we got to do here, we got to answer this, Doug. Yeah, yeah we, we gotta really do. We, we got to gotta keep pace now because if we, we go three and out again and they, they go right down, we're going to be in deep trouble. Uh, the last drive, we stalled out with a couple uh, couple loss uh, plays and uh, penalty, and uh, you can't do that against a good team. So the penalty assessed, uh, Halston will actually be teeing it up at the Foxville 45-yard line. So if this ball doesn't go through the end zone, I I'd be shocked at this point in time. Yeah. But this is also a great opportunity for an onside kick. Oh, penalty. sure. The kickoff will take place from the Warriors. Halston is loaded up with six guys on one side as Buchanan tees it up. And now we're going to see the deep kick. It's through the end zone. And it's going to go through the end zone. And Buchanan kicks it to the back of the end zone. Touchback. Warriors will take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Well, go, go, Foxborough has to regroup here. Just starting the second quarter. And again, Halston holds a seven point lead of 14 to seven. 
You know, I've, I've, I've listened to the hype all year long about these kids, this, these kids from Holliston, how good they were, how quick they are. And, and I've, I've used the term as advertised. They're, be they're the best team I've seen so far this year, moving the football. Yeah, and we got to see Neil break one out. He's going to, he's going to, whoa. And Neil's going to have. He's got himself 17 or 18. On the carry yeah. down to the 38 yard line. We need him badly. 18 yard run by First Keon down, Neal Foxborough. off the left side behind the blocking of Chris Booth. That's a good answer right there. That's a good start. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go. First down. Turns out to be a gain of 19. And Neil's in the slot now, isn't he? He is in the yeah. slot. And we might see that jet motion right here. Now Rogers is going to pass. He's going to have to step up and go with it. This is a good choice by Nolan Rogers, and he's got a lot of room. Oh, to run he's too. got a lot of room. There you go. There's the answer right that's, there. That's what we need a little the more of. The is, is uh, Nolan Rogers, who is athletic. Sometimes you just have to pull that ball down and run. Well, right there. Panther, 39 yard line. When there's nobody First to throw to, you run. Yeah, this is a 22 yard run by Nolan Rogers, and he gets a good block downfield by one of his receivers. A lot of Holliston fans were screaming for a hold, but basically it was a pretty good block out there. So back to back first downs. And Neil is now back behind Rogers, and he's going to take the handoff and go outside left. And he breaks a couple tackles. Well, he got a couple out of it anyway. Yeah, 21. Uh, Neil bet at the line of scrimmage, but Sam gained two yards. Is one of the tacklers out there. I'm going to bet that's his brother. I would guess. Also, Keast again, number 22. So Marked as a gain of one, second down and nine at the Panther 38-yard line. When you, so, get a, when you get a shot, Mike, take a look at that moon up there. So here we are, second and nine, ball in the 38 of Holliston, 947. There's your moonshot, Frank. There you go. Big full moon out there. Great fall evening, late fall evening. Foxborough taking a lot of time in that huddle. Second down, nine. Well, we got trips over here. We got we got uh, some motion right here with Ryan. And yeah, we're gonna see another pass, and Rogers is going deep. Yeah. The receiver's gonna have to come back. That yep. ball just out of bounds. Looked wind like might have taken wind, that one. I think you're right, Doug. I think the wind blew that one out. Third down, nine. We got nine minutes and 21 seconds left in the half. Holliston with a comfortable 14 to seven lead. Austin Ryan was the intended receiver, and uh, basically. He, he knew the ball was underthrown uh, as he broke off his pattern and came back. Had it been uh, in bounds, he would have been wide open right there. So third and nine, 921, as Frank said. So it's big, big play here for Fox, bro. In fact, it's probably four down territory. Third down. Neil's going out into nine the slot. Down. We're gonna see Martin go out there. We're gonna empty the backfield here. So we now got we're going to see Neil jet motion. And he's going to swing up the sideline. And we That's have a screen, screen. pass. Oh, boy. That was Austin Ryan. To, yeah, screen to Ryan. They read it very well. Yeah, they did. Fourth down. We can take a peek at that one, Mike. Let's take a look at this. Nobody was fooled here. Ryan gets in behind the linebacker, but the linebacker doesn't move. You know, 54 again, I believe. Chipman. So Foxborough looks like they're going for it. They are. Fourth and ninth from the Halston 38 yard line. <laughs> Fourth down. And Rogers once again. Gilreath. The pass. Gilreath in the middle. Nope. Oh, oh wow. That, 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 oh, boy. That should draw a flag. That should draw a flag. There yeah, it is. there's the flag. Too. That, that's going to be that's going to be after the fact. Absolutely. That, that's going to be after the fact for yeah. celebrating. Yeah. This this play that's here. That's a celebration penalty. That's a You're celebration right. penalty. Yep. But it sh it should it should have been a defenseless receiver because. Dead ball foul, unsportsmanlike conduct, Panthers. Well, Foxborough will turn the ball over on downs and they'll get 15 yards out of it. But Neil was open temporarily and then 
Penalty Boom. took place after the play was dead. It is Panther ball. That, that, was, that was a head shot. Flag is assist after Holliston takes possession. That, that's basically, if we can see that one more time, you'll see that, that this, this, this kid launched, launched himself at Keon Neal. You see towards the very end here, and you'll just see right to the head. Boom. Which they didn't call that. They, though. Yeah, they, they did. They called the celebration. They called the celebration, and Halston was very fortunate there not to get called for uh, for the personal foul, which would have resulted in a Foxborough first down. I think oh, that's yeah. what Coach Marnelli is trying to discuss uh, right uh, now. He, he wants an explanation. You're right. You can see Coach in the picture there talking to one of the officials, but he's not going to get him to change his mind. All right. You're 100% right, yeah. Doug. That's a headshot. That's a headshot right there. Excuse the language there at home, folks. Let's do it again. All right, Halston takes over. Panther ball, first and 10 at the 23. All right, let's see if we get some defense here. We're going to need it now. And we're going to see Elkinson this time. He hits the middle of the Foxborough line. He's still going. Boy, he's moving his feet, isn't he? On the carry. Yeah, that's just poor tackling right there. Carrying most of the Foxborough defense with him. Good for another Panther. First down. Well, he comes off hobbling, but that's probably just because he had five guys on his back. And <laughs> great run by Elkinson. Yeah, he's a, he's a tough little guy. So they're staying in the double wing, and we still have at the and he takes the pitch, I was going to say, at the wing back position. And he Athlete stopped short carry. this time. I'm watching the Holliston offensive one. line. They're coming Second off the ball. Nine. They're coming off the ball low. Yeah. Big kids coming off the ball low. It's, uh, it's, it's how they're going to pick up, lift up the defensive line. That's a running football team Second right there. So they're in, they're Second in that nine. double wing. Look at the wing again. They're real tight. Yep. And we got the inside counter. And we're going to get about six yards out of this. Athey on the carry down to Athey the 43 yard line. For those who understand offensive football, this is called the Delaware Wing T. Um, Third and a long. Developed three. by a coach down there by the name of Tubby Raymond um, back in the 60s. And this this is, if, if you take a look, this, this offensive down. set has been re reproduced thousands of times in the United States high school football. Now they're inside counter to uh, Elkinson. Yep. And he oh, breaks it to the away. outside. And he's going to get out of bounds. Tommy Rogers inside, forces so him out of bounds, but not after a huge gain on a third down play. Quick feet, quick feet. And he gets it out to the 30 yard line yard of Foxborough. Elkinson is good for another Panther. 33. First down. Yeah, he broke that tackle. Here he comes, Doug. He's quick. Yeah, he is. Quick, he's tough for a big little guy. 33 yard line. First down, 10 for Holliston. Yeah, we've seen some good football teams this year, Walpole being one of them, but uh, right now we're witnessing, I think, his the best. the best. And we're going to see the toss here. To Elk, uh, no, oh, actually, number nine's in the game there. Well, you know something? All right. They really think they can throw a, a yeah. run on us, and they are. Yeah, they number are. Nine, Brady, Wells. Brady Wells on the carry. We His haven't. Carry. We ha excuse me, Doug. We we haven't seen this Inside wing tee all year long. It's developed like this. This is what Second just what I said. Ever, Everett is no, known for this right here. And after he goes in motion, he'll take the toss. Hey, and nice cut. Out. Yep. Nice cut. Nice blocking. Everybody's going downfield. On the carry across the 25 and Part of the line. success of this, too, is, is that down, you're, you're putting as many bodies as possible at the point of attack. Oh, sure. That's what makes this a successful attack because you, you have a tight tight splits with your linemen are close to each other. You get backs blocking for each other. The fullback's almost up in the quarterback's pocket. Yep. And he's leading away. And there goes Athey through the middle, and he's oh going to score. Oh, God. He's just annihilating Touchdown. us. Yeah, just poor tackling again by the Warriors. And with 6.51 remaining in the first half, this is uh, starting to look like a blowout here. It's uh, not, a, not a good sign as Foxborough will fall behind by two touchdowns. Against this offense. Against this offense. yard run from scrimmage for the touchdown. The Panthers line up for the extra point. 
Buchanan with another good kick. And the kick by Buchanan Just got a pretty good, good leg on, on himself as well. He certainly one. does. Warriors seven. Now Foxborough last time put together a little bit of a drive. It stalled out, but the thing is, we we have to make a stop on defense. If at this point we we can trade touchdowns from this point on, we're going to lose by two. They've had three series. We haven't stopped them. Yeah. He even made a nice catch on that. Just yeah, he did. It. And again, just look at the, the poor tackling. Terrible tackling. Very elusive, very strong, quick. Yeah, he's got it all. So Neil is back, so he survived that hit on that last offensive play. Austin Ryan's back with him. McNamara's back there is Ronnie Martin. And we got a deep kick, and it looks like Martin's going to field this one about the 10-yard line. And quickly, Halston's down on him, and Martin's going to be dragged down just about the 24-yard line. I don't think we threw one block down. on that play. And he's down. Yeah, yeah. That's oh not good. Uh, he's looks hurt. Like, it looks like his leg. Let's Ronnie take a look Martin at Ronnie Martin, Martin right here. Juke and juke and juke and juke and juke. He can only do that so much. His leg is kind of caught underneath yep. him. Yep. Number 14, uh, uh, Cerulli, J.B. Cerulli uh, on the tackle. It looks like he may have rolled up on Ronnie's ankle. Ronnie's a tough kid, but I, right now, but from what I can see from this distance, he's in agony. And this is not a good sign. So time is out while Martin's being attended to. While we have that timeout, I can read off our little MIAA thing here. Okay, we're gonna see, we're, we're gonna see the end of the play, and then I'll make the little announcement. And it looks like yeah, it's oh, left, left, left ankle. ankle. Holy yeah. cow! I hope that isn't broken. Wow, that is not good. That did not look good at all. All right, ahead, so ahead, we got ahead. here the the right speed to this uh, cable cast has been waived by the MIAA on behalf of the students of Foxborough High School. The MIAA represents 373 senior high schools across the Commonwealth and the more than 200,000 young men and women who participate annually in MIAA governed athletic competition. Any rebroadcast or republication of this program without the written consent of the MIAA is prohibited. So I, I'm, I'm thinking Martin's possibly done here. He's up, but uh, he is severely favoring that that ankle and he's going to be assisted off that's that's huge because Boy, uh you know we have a stable of running backs but the one-two punch with him and uh keon neal oh, sure really helps turn the wheels of foxborough's offense that, that he's done for the night Doug. i, I think. believe he is so foxborough will start at their own 24 yard line 643 remaining in the first half Keon Neal will obviously uh, carry, carry, carry the bulk of the load now. Carry the load. 24 yard line. Carry the load. We're going to throw the football. We're just going to have to throw the football here. And we're going to see Neal, and he's going to break it outside. He's got some room, and that's a great run by Keon Neal. He's running hard. He tonight. ran really hard on that play. That's, on that's one of the hardest runs I've that's seen that kid make all year. And, and he's a hard runner. He is. Out across the 35-yard line to the 36. First Let's take a peek at Keon Warriors. Neal right here. 12-yard run here for a first down. But you'll see, again, no dancing. This is the way a football player should run the ball. Yeah, you, you got boy, you got that. Uh, no, no dancing. Just hit the hole and go. And we're going to see him again. And again, look, he, he bounces off tacklers. This nice is Palomo, play. number 30. Nice play. All right. Neal hit the backfield and tackled by number 30, Joe Palomo. Loss on the play. Right. He Second ends up down, losing about two it. on the play. But uh, Halston was not fooled on this one as they tried the left side, and the penetration is just really good. Yeah, Belomo just nails him right off the bat. And then he, Athy, he blew up the pulling guard. Yeah, he did. So second, they're calling it 11. Foxborough's 35-yard line. 
And again, Neal's the low back. And Rodgers is passing, and he's got a blitz on him. And he he just throws us to get rid of it. He had Buzniak on the inside, incomplete. but overthrew it to the outside, three, just trying to avoid Bozniak. that sack. Covered by number five, Derek DeCastro. We had well, that, you a, know, Sitcher. Sitcher would have played them last week, Doug. Must, must have a pretty good team to, to stay within a touchdown of these guys. Yeah. Let's take a look you at that. You see again. the outside pressure right in on Nolan Rodgers. Never really stood a chance to set himself up. So a third and 11, Foxborough here really needs to convert for a first down. If not, they have no uh, choice down. but to punt. 538. Remaining. And again, Rogers. He's got a receiver in the middle of the field. It's knocked down. That's a young Pass. sophomore, isn't yeah. it, Doug? Incomplete. Nathy on the breakup there. In coverage. Yep. yep. Pass for number 81. 81. Jermaine, Jermaine Few was the intended receiver. Fourth but Nathy right there. Mr. Tuxborough. Everything. Yeah, he's. Punt <laughs> formation. Athie he's killing us, Hawkins isn't he? He's killing us. So McCarthy once again back to do the punting for the Warriors. And if we haven't seen him again, or, or, or seen him yet, yeah. we're going to see him again. Yeah. Let's go, Big he's one of the return guys along with Elkinson. And we got oh a high boy. snap. No rush, though. No McCarthy rush. has plenty of time. He gets off a really good kick here. Elkinson's going to field it. And again, we have missed tackles, a handful of missed tackles. And he runs out of bounds. Number three, Elkinson on the return. Connor Downs to the forces him out. Yard line where the Panthers at will the, take over uh, first 36, and but McCarthy does a good Five job of pulling that high step. Down. That was a very good job and a very good punt. High hang time was great, but uh, again, Foxborough's coverage just a little insufficient Fans, here. Not, not enough to for a performance for the a good return machine, there. And Panther cheerleaders. Reminder that no one is allowed on the field just, until after the cheerleaders have finished their performance. You know, again, this is for safety concerns. You can't miss tackles. No one is allowed on the field until after and, and, the cheerleaders have you know, completed uh, their performance. Elkinson is obviously a great athlete there. He's making some of those kids miss, but we just got to do a better job. We haven't done First it yet. Down. Back to the T, wing T again. And we're going to see Athy once again. And Athy's going to break off about a 15 yard the run. Down to the 49 yard line. And that's good. Part I think he goes to college to be a running back. I don't think he goes to nah, be a quarterback. Nah. Maybe I'm wrong, but, nah, I mean, but from not, what I'm seeing. Not unless he's going to the Naval Academy where he can then run the wishbone there <laughs> yeah, or something like that. But. Come on, boy. Now we're going to see it the opposite way. Elkinson, this is a high toss. And this is a perfect chance for Foxville to make a defensive three, play. Elkinson, out of and, bounds. Uh, I think, I think Pond, 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 didn't Pond push him out there a little bit? Uh, Who's it? 40, 40, 40, 44 is Lost down. Lost on the play. Okay. Eight, eight is down. Uh, Second eight down, is, uh, 12. Pond. Pond, yeah. Eight, yeah. eight, eight was with him. But. Okay. But it, it was a high pitch that time to yeah. Elkinson, and uh, he loses two on the uh, carry. And now we're going to see Athey the other way, and Foxborough bottles him up. First time. Number 12, Athey tackled in the backfield. Tommy Rogers there at the bottom of the pile, number seven. So they're bringing up the safeties. We haven't seen any any, any of them throw out of, that, out of that formation all night. So why wouldn't they just the stack Foxborough. the deck? Yeah. You know, load Third them up. Long for the Panthers. Let's go, Big O! Third down. Now they're going to break out. It's going to spread their formation. They're going to go back with the quarterback in the shotgun. Let's go, and he's gonna he's gonna keep this. This is design run all the way, and he's gonna be short. He's out to the Foxborough 46 Athlete yard line, but he's gonna be about five shy. Six yard line, short of the first down. By I don't I don't think they're punting deal. Six yards. No, I, I wouldn't. That, that was that, this was run first, pass second. Four minutes remaining in the first half. You have to respect the fact that he can throw the ball, but again, look what they did. They spread the Foxborough defense, and then. Uh, you know, he makes he makes a run out of it. Uh, he's a long five here. Fourth down. So they're, again, at the quarterback in the shotgun. And again, he's going to roll out. And he's got the option to run it. And that's what he's going to do. And he's going to be brought down. So Foxborough finally stops Athie him. On the keeper. Uzanidis, number on the 70 down. on the tackle. Foxborough will take over on downs. 
So with 3.27 left, uh, this is just what Foxborough needs. Kill this clock, get in, and be down by seven at the half. First and 10, Warriors at their own put the drive together now. yard line. Three minutes, 27 seconds remaining in the half. Let's do it again, D! Get it back! So Rogers with Neil in the backfield. And we're going to see a delayed uh, Neil. He's going to spin through the middle. He's going to break a couple tackles, and he's got about Neil nine. Yeah, he got Cross nine. midfield down to the 47-yard line. Nice run. I get, I get a little concerned when he spins. Spotted I'm just, just afraid he's going to get the he's going to get the shot. He doesn't yeah. want to get hit. Let's go. Down this is just uh, two. basically a slight draw play there. Yep. And uh, Neil does a nice job Let's of picking up eight. They give him credit for. So second and second ball at Halston's 48-yard line. Three minutes remaining, second quarter. Foxville sends three receivers to the left. And we're going to run the toss out there to Neal behind those receivers. And he's got a first down and a little bit more. He's got about 10 yards on this carry. Neal and uh, that'll stop the, the clock the temporarily as they first move the uh, chains. He's running hard. Again, you can see the three receivers, and they're out there just to get some blocking, and they do a pretty good job there. But then it's Neil making a shift, shifty move. The clock will start again. And the one thing is, too, we don't want to score too fast and give Halston a chance to get the oh, ball back in. They only need about a minute. Yeah. So we got Halston off sides. We got a free play here. Run, Kia. All right. Keon's going to gain a couple, but Halston showing blitz came off sides before the snap. Two flags, two penalty flags on the play. I think both officials have the same call, though. They're definitely offsides. Yeah. Offsides, yeah. Hollister. I think Neil yeah. got more than, I think Neil got about seven on that, though. So it looks like we may take the penalty and uh, make it a first and five. Let's go, Big G! Penalty moves the ball down to the 34-yard line. First down and five for Foxborough. All right, so there you go, 227 and running. Foxborough, second, first and five situation, 34-yard line of Halston. And we're going to go up top, and we have a receiver. He's got it, too. He's got a good catch. Pass is, that, is complete. Is that Bosniak? It's down Ryan, Austin Ryan, Austin Ryan, number 11. Ryan. First down and goal to go for the Warriors. So Foxborough on a long pass completion, 28-yard pass and catch. Nice, Rogers to uh, nice, Ryan. Nice catch. Came back for the ball. Let's take a look at Austin Ryan. Nice pass here from Nolan Ryan. He gets behind uh, Elkinson, actually. And like you said, Frank, he makes the adjustment. Elkinson had no idea where the ball was. Come on, boys, hold him. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the half. First down and goal. Yeah, a really good grab by nice, Austin Ryan. Nice play by Ryan. So Neil spreads. No, that's not Neil. That's Fuse way out. Here comes the motion guy, and we're going to see Neil bust it out to the offensive side. Oh, he's going to score. He's, he's going to score. He's got the corner and a touchdown. There you go. Touchdown, great, great cut. Great cut. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, Kia Neal on the carry. They, uh, One minute, 44 Fox Pro showed power with the jet sweep to the Makes right, the and then Neil breaks it to the left on basically a little misdirection. And all the flow was going that way. I think, I think he did that on his own. He probably I did. He, I don't think it, he, it that was been designed. Been, I, I agree. Might have been designed to go strong right, but he saw something and made a nice uh, cut and breaks it in for a six-yard touchdown. And Kyle Will sends this thing into orbit. Kick is no good. No good. It's no good, though. That's a huge miss. That is a huge score miss. Score remains Holliston 21, Foxborough 13. We certainly know what happened to Westwood last week because right. of that. And again, yeah, he, he's, that play's designed to go to the right. He's just making cuts all over the place. Yeah. So Foxborough cuts the lead to eight, minute 44, uh, which is plenty of time for this high-powered Holliston offense. What we need right now is we need a padded Kyle Will deep kickoff into the end zone. Well, we fought our way back into it. I, I'm, I'm guessing that Halston's best defense is their offense, though. Oh. I, I mean, they get into a shootout. If they're averaging 40 points a game, there's not many other teams that can match that. Yeah. Well, AJ told me if we can hold them under 21, we can beat them. Mm. We'll see. All right, Kyle Will tees it up. 
And we do get a good kick, and this one's going to drive Elkinson into the end zone, and he's going to bring it out. And now we need good coverage, and again, you're going to see the missed tackles. Not, not too bad, though. We recovered. Number 10 for Foxborough is on that Elkinson tackle. Elkinson on the carry, short of the 20-yard line. It's uh, Robbie McCoy. First and 10, Holliston at the road, 19. He brings it out line. to 19, so. One minute, 38 seconds. So at first you see he, ma he makes half. a few kids Let's miss here. Rubber fans have visited the and then, well, you can't, nice Robbie McCoy. Leary, you can't leave your feet. They, yeah. they, they're just, they're just looking at his hips. All proceeds in turn go back to Haber, and therefore back to Holliston High so School Athletics. 138 remaining. Ball on the 19 of Holliston, and uh, once again, we're gonna Panthers. now we're going to see the shotgun once again without the quarterback. He takes a snap and he's going to pull it down right up the middle. And again, design run. Pawn eventually Matthew brings him down. But the carry across the 30 yard line. That could have been a saving tackle. Right there. He, if he makes one cut to the outside, we're in trouble. So he, he picks up. First and 10, Hollis 11, 11, 11, 11, 31 yard 12 line. yards on that. Brings it out to the 31. First down. He, you, you basically got to hit this kid. He's got. Oh pull, yeah, he, absolutely. He's got to pull it down again and run. And he's got to be forced out of bounds. But again, he looks like another first down. Out of bounds, short of the 40-yard line. No, nope, he's just shy. Chain crew thought he had a first down. So <laughs> moving it over there. 116 remaining. But we'll bring up a second and one. Second down at three. Uh, actually three. Check that. Line of scrimmage, the Panther 39 yard line. You have to respect him to throw the ball, but he's run first. He's definitely run first. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And once again, we're going to see the screen. screen. This ball's deflected. Yeah. Brian DeVellis gets nice his paw play. on that one. Nice play. That could have been disastrous as Foxborough had, had, had the Russia and they were set up the screen pass. And Number 18. Could have worked to Foxborough's favor with there. The deflection. Third down and two. So third and two, 110 on the clock. Come on, Big O! Let's go, Halston! And here he goes, Athy up the middle once again, and he's going to be stopped. Yeah, well, we stayed at home. That's a good job. Athy on the but, draw. But stop, I, what I also like, the Halston's going to gonna call a timeout, line. but I also like right now, Frank, Fourth is down. we've substituted. We've taken the bigger boys out of the middle. And put some right. lateral quickness. That's right. Timeout, because, Panthers. you know, it, it's great if you got, uh, you know, beef in the middle if they're running through the middle all the time. But right. when this guy is as elusive as he is, uh, you need that lateral movement. And Uzanitas is in there, and uh, Jackson's in there. Yep. And yep. earlier in the year, Jackson was playing quite well in that defensive line for us. Yes, it was. <laughs> All right. You're going to see, again, this is, again, just a design run. He's just going to drop back, pull it down, and he's going to go forward. And the quickness on the defensive line paid dividends that time as we stop him a yard shy of the first down marker. We need a turnover. Key play right here, obviously, because if Foxborough holds them on fourth down, they're going to be set up in great field position with uh, just under a minute to go uh, when they would take over. So right now, I'm, I'm guessing Athey's getting the ball, Frank. Well, yeah. Who else do you give it to? It's a, uh, it's a pretty good call. They're going to go back to the double wing. It's either Elkinson or Athey, and I don't yeah. is, is Elkinson. No, they're going back double wing again. There goes yeah. it. Yep. They bought him they up. Stopped but he, 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 he stopped him. The they stopped him. This is going to be a measurement. This is going to be a Spotted measurement. at the 39-yard line. Of course, it depends on the spot here. We'll see. The 41-yard line. They yeah. gave it to him. They gave him the first down. The indication wow. is that's a first down for the Ch Panthers. Ch Ch Chain crew hasn't even moved yet. I was going to say. I think, I think Coach Martinelli wants a yeah, measurement. Yeah, I, I think I would, too, just in case, just to slow everything down a little bit. Official timeout. Foxville did a pretty good job of bottling up for a measurement. Athy on that carry, but it looks like he got a favorable spot by about a half a football. He's got it. Half a football. 
Touchdown, well, Hollister. Just enough. But you got to measure that. I mean, of course you do. If, 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 if for anything else, just to give your kids a blow. Yeah. So Halston with one minute exactly remaining in the half picks up another first down and can stay in that double wing Delaware wing T formation. All right, clock starts. And again, Athey's going to take. He's going to option pass out of this. This ball's up for grabs. Oh, oh my God! And again, Foxborough, Foxborough secondary. Didn't just had no idea job. where the ball was. That didn't do the job. Uh, Athey throws this ball up, and, and Elkinson is Elkinson's back there, but Austin. looks like everybody's facing the receiver and not the ball. Oh yeah, that's. I mean, it's just not played well. Well thrown, but still could have been defended. And here you go with the toss again, and he's going to be bottled up. So we're going to get a timeout with 38 seconds remaining, but. No gain on the play. Uh, Timeout, Panthers. We can go back one, once again to look at that replay, that long pass. Uh, just a matter of time before this was set up with coming on that, uh, you know, reverse there, the uh, the toss with him basically a quarterback that is better runner, but he threw a nice ball right there. Yeah, just it really just wasn't covered well. No. Well, they haven't thrown I mean, a lot. All right, we're going to go back to it. And again, you, you, you're thinking run, run, run. Now Foxborough realizes right now we're in trouble. And now you see the defensive backs trying to close. And it's too late at that point in time. Second down. So th now we're going to see Elkinson come this way. And he's going to break a couple tackles. And he's going to get and out of bounds most of all. Bounds, saves, a, saves a first down. On the or saves down a uh, timeout. Yard line. So he gets down, gets down to the 17 with 31 seconds left. Third down, four. 31 seconds remaining on the clock. Boy, this would be a killer right here. Yeah, Will. You go from almost making a stop on fourth down to giving up the big play to now basically trying to keep this high-powered offense from scoring from 17 yards away. You know, they've got the size of Stoughton, Doug. Yeah. But, they, but I think they've got quicker athletes. Yeah, I believe so. Third down. And we're gonna see Athey gonna basically pull it down again. Oh, he's scrambling, he's looking for a receiver. Gotta come down on his backside here. He's gotta take a couple shots here. More importantly, Athey about 13, 14 seconds line. rolls off the clock. Yep. It's fourth down timeout now. By the fourth down. They'll call a timeout. I was just looking at the uh, roster for, uh, the for Halston, and that number 77 is only a sophomore. Is he? He's only a That'll sophomore. So here you go. This is good seven. coverage this time in the Foxborough secondary. And then pretty good pressure. Uh, this is just an athlete avoiding everything possible here. And uh, again, he's scrambling, scrambling. And Foxborough finally closes up here, bottles him up, keeps him in bounds, forces the timeout. So it's fourth down and six from the 20-yard uh, line. And again, Athlete's the guy right here. You got no, you, I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see that Elkinson come out of the backfield here too, again. Yeah, I mean, right. I, I'd run almost the same play that they threw the pass on, give him the option to run or throw. Absolutely. They're, they're, those are their two quality athletes. You got to keep them in the game. Let's go. Yeah, I was just commenting about uh, this number 77, the left tackle, Mark Mulvaney. He's 6'2", 241. He's only a sophomore. That is a big boy. Line of scrimmage is the 21 yard line. Fourth down. So they're going to spread seven, it out. You're going to see Athy in the backfield, joined by number 11, uh, uh, McIsaac. And we're going to see McIsaac drift out of the backfield here. And we're going to see some pressure. They're going to wide open oh, receiver. He oh, drops he the ball. He dropped the ball. He dropped the There's ball. There's a huge break. 43. The uh, receipt, intended receiver there who had the big catch Fox earlier. Kime, first and ten. He, he has a yeah. touchdown if he holds on to this ball. Yeah, I think so. I think so. He's, in, he's basically at the five yard line and just, wow. So Foxborough dodges a bullet. And if I'm doing anything right now, I'm taking a knee and, and going to the locker room and regrouping. And be happy you're only down by uh, eight. Eight, yeah. Let's go, 
A little chilly up here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> and Rogers does take the knee. I mean, that'll kill the half. So an interesting first half. Uh, a lot of offense. To end a lot the of first half with the score. A lot of ball movement. A lot of ball movement. A lot of different formations. But uh, we have a 21-13 Halston lead as we break the halftime. Tonight's crowd is heading out, probably trying to get some. Get some warmth here because the wind is picking up. Oh, it's probably the wind chill right now is probably about 30 degrees. Yeah. So uh, Foxborough will have to kick off to start the second half, and they're going to have to make another stop if they're going to stay alive in this game. But a nice recovery towards the end. They bounce back. They score. They held twice. So uh, it is encouraging. And uh, we'll be back shortly uh, with the second half action. It's a good boot, and again, Elkinson's got fielded field inside the end zone. He's going to bring it out, going to try the middle. He bounces it outside a little bit, but then he's brought down. Let me see if we can get a number at the ball. Elkinson on the return. Met dropped at the 20 yard like, line uh, where the Panthers will take over first and 10. On the tackle, so makes it out to the 20 yard line. Had he taken a knee, he could have avoided the hit and got the same amount of yardage. <laughs> Now the scores are on the MIA Marshfield 41, Natick 6 at halftime. Wow. Halftime. That's a shocker right there. Halftime. I don't know if you heard that through the headsets, but Marshfield is leading Natick 41 to First six. First and ten at Holliston at their own 20 yard line. And again, Natick was one of those teams everyone thought was bound for a championship. Yep, exactly. Wow. So here we go. We got Athey back at quarterback in the shotgun. And he's going to keep it. A little play action, and he gets popped a couple times, but he still spins ahead for a few yards. Boy, he's, he's, good, he's good. Six, six, yard six, line. Seven yards every time he touches the ball, Doug. Sure is, and, and uh, he's really he's really something else here. I mean, the, the kid is athletic. Second down, um, six. You know, tough too. I mean, God, he's he's not easy to bring down. He's so. he's an up back. He's an up back on the kickoffs. Yeah. He's playing defensive back. Right, yeah. he runs the football better than he throws the football, and he throws the football Second well. Half. Yeah, he's, he's just an all-around great athlete. So he picks up uh, about five. So we have a second and five, and again now we're seeing a little motion. He's going to read that. He's going down down the middle with a wide open receiver. Oh boy! There's another six. Wow! So Brady Wells scores on a long pass here. Play from to Brady wow. Wells. So he's thrown three, or no, he's run for three, thrown for another one, yeah. make tackles all over the place, and the kid can do anything. Yeah, and, and, and this is a well-designed play when we see the replay, but basically they show a little, little uh, motion with the back. He does the read option, and basically Fox is looking at him to run the ball at that Appy point. Yeah, yeah. The Panthers line up for the conversion. And the kick is good. Good. And, and the kick is good. 58 seconds into the second half. Foxborough just falls behind into the second by half. two the scores. Score to make it 28-13. Well, let's take another look at this. Nick Athey on the... On this the is the end part, but this, this is Brady Well, He's just he's wide behind open. everybody. He's I mean, wide open. Now, if he drops that ball, he's going to hate himself forever. But uh, once he catches it, he's off to the races. Yep. And, uh, Again, a, a well-designed, well-executed play by the Halston Panthers. This is a well-designed offense, totally. Totally. Running the football. Great sets. Yeah. Great sets. Great blocking schemes. Quick traps. Every, they do everything well. Everything well. This is, without question, the best football team I've seen this year. Yeah. So, Foxborough will get their first start of the second half. Need to bounce back. They're going to be well at the services of Ronnie Martin, who left uh, late in the second quarter with an apparent uh, ankle injury. Yeah, it's a shame to see him go down because he's the heart and soul of this team. He's a tough kid. Yeah. And Buchanan tees it up. And we're going to see a short kick. Up back there is... McNamara. Oh boy, somebody's got to fall on it. 
basically a knuckleball. It's like like a, a nine iron. down by number Drop four. that thing in there. Uh, just Connor inside McNamara the 20. for Foxborough. So McNamara inside falls the 20-yard line. No with return. Will take over first and ten. Foxborough started at their own 19-yard line. Let's go, dude! Yeah, right there. McNamara's going to make up his dude. mind whether or not he's going to catch that in the air. All right. Or let it hit the ground, and in the air would have been the better choice. He, he yeah. let that ball play him. All so right. Neil's the back. Nolan Rogers. Nolan Rogers. Excuse me, Dougie. Yeah. Back in the shotgun. That's it. Yeah, we may have gone away with a block in the back. There's going to be really no gain on this. Yard. Yeah, we got back to the line of scrimmage. Mike, can we see this one more time, please? Let's take a peek at this one here. For Foxborough. Well, most this is it's actually a lateral. Yeah, it is a lateral. Yeah. And we get nothing out of it. So, second and ten. We didn't have a lot of blocking on that play. No, not much at all. And now we're going to see Neil. And he's going to get a couple. That much more Neil on that. the carry out across the 20 yard No, line. it hasn't been a really sloppy game, Doug. We, we, the only Seven. turnover was on a play that was a, an interception in the end zone by Holliston that was called back anyway. Right. That's the only turnover in the whole game. Yeah. It's been relatively well played, not a lot of penalties. Yeah. Just a, a tremendous amount of offense by uh, Holliston. Yeah, and, and Foxville's had a couple good drives, but then they stalled out as well. So. They need a big first down here. They're looking at seven yards to get there. Third down. And we're going to see motion. And Rogers going deep down. The, now he overthrows. Too far, too far. That's Hugh, the intended receiver. Incomplete. Number 13, Andrew Schneelock in coverage for the Panthers. Fourth down. So Fox will have to punt, and uh, not what we really needed to see right here, because Hallison's going to end up with great field position. Elkinson and uh, Athey are back right around their 45-yard line. Pat McCarthy punting for the Warriors. Pat's got off a couple good punts tonight, but again, a 50-yard punt will still end up around midfield. Oh, there's another high snap, pull down. And again, a nice, nice high punt. Nice kick. punt. Nice punt. And Athey feels it at his own 45. He's already across midfield. Oh, boy. One block. He needs one and block. He got it. He got it. He's gone. We're going to see a touchdown return here. Is this oh, unbelievable? Touchdown. A punt return. Touchdown. A touchdown pass and three runs. Uh, and a flag. flag for another celebration. Flag. Yeah, there you go. No diving. No diving. Touchdown number 12, Nick Athey. There are two flags on the play. Yeah, he has a, a wall set up here once he cuts back against the green. He gets the great the block right at the end yeah. here by Elkington. Yeah. So just, enough to, just enough to shield him. Yeah, he, he gets back in to make another block too. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. What a good football so, so player. Best, best player I've seen this year. Yeah, oh yeah. Without a doubt. Now, the one, the one thing I, I will say is we've already seen a couple of sportsman like calls on Holliston. Yeah. If they continue to Ball play as good as they are in advance, one of these is going to come back and haunt them. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Remember a couple years ago, the Super Bowl up at uh, Gillette when the young man, uh, I forget what school it was, but he was on his way in for the winning score of the game. Puts the number one up with his finger just for a split second. Oh, First yeah. Down. Before he's in the end zone, in they flag the it. They, the ball comes back. The winning Cost him the second. game. Cost him the game. Cost him the game. Absolutely. And, and it wasn't even something that was really blatant, but that's how much they've cracked back, uh, down on, on this celebration. Celebration, so. yeah. So because of penalties assessed on the uh, play. Happy on the carry. No, they didn't, they didn't award the down touchdown. Down to the 13-yard line. Wow. They took the touchdown away, so we stand corrected here on a couple things. Yeah, but still, been like penalty he, backed it up to the 17-yard line. I think because no he, 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 he maybe he because dove, yeah, he dove from the two-yard line. Exactly, he Second wasn't down. he wasn't in the end he zone. He wasn't in the end zone yet. So that to the point where he was just making about the falls on the ground. Foxborough's going to get it back. There goes the one break they needed. Recovered by Foxborough. There you go, huge break right there. So seven points comes off the board. We get a turnover. Well, uh, let's take a look at Athey diving in the end zone it's here. It's a two-yard line. There he goes. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely from the field. 
All right. Not in the end zone, from the field. And this, and again, this is what happened a couple years ago in that Super Bowl. It took the touchdown off, moved the ball back. They never recovered and from it. Warriors. So the good news is we That's stopped them because of that and, and because of the fumble. The bad news is we're on our own two-yard line. Yeah. Come on, D. And we're going to see Neil. And he's going to bust it out, and he's going to get around the corner and get some yardage and you get know, about eight you, out yeah, of that. He got out to the 10. That's a pretty good run right there. Down to the Running 10 behind yard Trevor line. Fishman there on the, on the right side, number 64. Second down and three. All right, second and two from the Foxborough 10 yard line, 7-13 and counting. And a draw play, and he's got to get nothing. Palomo and Athy stop him amongst about five other black shirts there. And, uh, you notice, you know, one of the things I noticed about these kids from Holliston, they're in great shape, even the linemen. Are in great shape. Oh, yeah. there's, there's no Third belly. Down, there's no three. bellies here. No. There's not. These are these kids are athletic and they're in very, very. They're very well conditioned. Yeah, you're gonna see again. Basically trying the left side again. Oh boy. Look at him. He's and going for the ball. Yeah. He wants another touchdown. What a greedy yeah. kid. Yeah. <laughs> so we lo we lose uh, two on the play. So it's third and six. I mean, I'm sorry, third and four. And we're going to see a pass play, and we got a ball over the middle to Buzniak. He curls it back in and pass picks up about complete. 10 additional yards, and that'll move the chains for the Warriors. Out to the 24-yard line. First down, Foxborough. So good pass protection and a nice safe pass right in the middle. Buzniak sets up on a little uh, button hook in the middle of the field. Picks up a first down. Foxborough now at their own 24-yard line. First down. And snap to Rodgers. He's passing once again. He's got he's got Austin Ryan in the middle of the oh, field. Boy, he had him wide open. Yeah, he so did. Just let him a little too much. Yeah, Austin kind of did like a delayed hitch into the middle there. He started out like to, like he was running a, uh, a an out pattern, and he just breaks it back into the middle, and Rodgers just. Throws it just outside his reach. Let's go, Austin catches that. He certainly has a first down and a lot more yardage in front of him. So second and 10, 546 left in the third quarter. Let's go, Foxborough on their own 24-yard line, trailing 28 to 13. Go, now we see second twin down. backs. I'm not sure who the other back is in the back. It could be Jake Pawn, number eight. And it is Jake Pond, a little play action to him, and Rodgers is going to have to pull this one down. He's got to get rid of it. That, and he's that's got, dangerous. Oh, he's, he's got oh, few. Oh, no, yeah. that's, that's, that's Keon Neal. Yep. It wide broke, open. Broken it's coverage complete. right there. Oh, wide open, the wide open. Yard line. It's Keon Neal who was First somehow ten, left alone in the secondary. See, there's the problem with the man-to-man -man right there. If you if you lose your man, there's nobody to back you up. Right. And, and, and with, with the back coming out of the backfield, you're, that's a shock almost to a linebacker or to a defensive back because, oh, my God, i got to run across the field and go get this kid because right. he's, he's my guy. That's a, that's a tough, tough, tough situation. First down. So Foxborough picks up a big first down. And now we're going to see Neil run it, and he's going to get balled up again. We're going to see a flag. We're going to have a push. We're going to have a push flag in the back, the I believe. Looks like one of the receivers uh, gave a shove there. Neil gains nothing, so you might see this penalty declined. We're going to yep, push it back. back. Foxborough. And Halson's going to take the call and move him back 10 yards. Repeat first down. They'll walk off the penalty. Which will put it back out Updated at the 48 at the end yard of the line. third quarter, Middleborough 34, Dennis Yarmouth 28. Some high scoring games here tonight. Yeah. Just got a score on Middleborough and Dennis Yarmouth. First down. Middleborough's up 34 28. 
for Foxborough. Yeah, there's, they're putting some points the on the board tonight. Obviously, the weather is <laughs> not, not affecting the, the scoring. It's affecting me. Yeah. It's cold up here, folks. Yeah. I got a couple right. toes, I think, that are missing right now. <laughs> so, sec uh, first and 20. First down. Neil, the lone back. To the left of Rogers and oh, Foxborough's gonna go in motion. We're moving all over the place. Flag on the play. Yep. Gonna go back for another uh, five. Here we go. Get into the self-destruct mode once again. Movement on Foxborough. Back it up five yards. First down and 25. So now we're heading the wrong way. Further update, Middleborough now leads 42 to 28. First and 25 for the Warriors. All right, Foxville's got to get themselves out of this hole. Rogers is going to pass, and he throws this one out of bounds, intended for buzzing. That is incomplete. Good coverage by uh, the other Athy. Sam, he doesn't look, he Sam doesn't look subtle to me, Nolan Rogers. He looks like he's trying Panthers. to get rid of, uh, maybe he's anticipating a hit, I don't know, but he's trying to get rid of the ball a little Second too quickly. He's not waiting for the receivers to make their cuts. Yeah, he's had a little bit of pressure, but not much. I mean, he, he hasn't been sacked, I don't think, Doug. No. I mean, his, uh, I'd be, I'd be uh, blitzing him now on this play. Second and second 25. So we'll second send three down. receivers to the far side. Gilreath is lined up to our near side. And again, you're going to see a little bit of pressure. Belomo is going to force Rogers up out of the pocket. There's your first sack. There right it there. is. I should have shut my mouth. And number 22. Uh, pressure from number 22, Justin Keast. So we lose a few more yards right there, another five. So down and 30. It's just, this has got to be like a coverage the sack Warriors. because the Three secondary's minutes, picked up all the receivers and the third quarter. Rogers pulls the ball down, tries to scramble, but he ends up losing uh, more yardage. Yep. And uh, you said, Frank, there's the first sack for the Halston defense. Well, they're going to pin their ears back and just come now because we have to throw the football to get back in this football game. Yeah. Third and 30 right here. And again, we're going to see Rogers roll out. He's got Ryan in the middle of the field. And that's going to, that oh, should that's be That's interference. Yeah, that's complete. Getting, that is interference. The, 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 there's they a late flag. They got now, it. They got it. The, the, the funny thing is, the flag comes from, from the sideline of Foxborough, but the referee in the middle of the field reached for his pocket and he let it go. He let it go because we made the catch. Yep. Yep. You're right. You're right. Good point. Flag on the play. Let's take a look. Let's take, take a look. Backside right interference. Right here. Uh, this That's kid's all over us, all over and him. just to the left here of, of the screen is, is the official who has the best view of that, reaches for his pocket. Once he sees the ball is completed, he doesn't throw the flag. Exactly. And the Foxborough sideline obviously got the attention of the ref there, and he knew it was. Update, Middleborough 42, so that's Dennis a, Yarmouth 34. That's the hardest way to get the first down, but we got it. Yep. And uh, We'll take it. We'll take it. So it'll be first and 10, <laughs> 306, and counting remaining in the first quarter. First and 10 Warriors we at are the Panther 47, 47 yard line. Of Holliston. Three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Motion. This is Ryan, and he's going to take the jet sweep, and he's going to be strung out, and there's not going to be a lot there. He gains about a yard. He's kept in bounds, so the clock will keep moving. Number 11, Austin Ryan on the carry down to the 45-yard line. Second down, eight. I thought he went out of bounds myself. Yeah. Correction ball now, spotted the 46. The one, the one thing about, nine, about the jet sweep in a formation like this is if you line up trips to that side, you're bringing three defenders over with you. Once yep. they see that handoff, yep. they're abandoning the guys that are out in front of them and usually can fight off that block. They can't cut block. They can't hold them. They can't push from behind. That's right. So Second you're relying down. on that jet sweep guy to make all the moves to get free. And now we're going to see Neil try off tackle behind Fishman. He did about four. He does. So Number we have a manageable third Neil down situation carry. here. Be about third and five. Down to the 41 yard line. So third down and four. 
This is four down territory. Foxborough trailing by 15 at this point. That needs four yards. Get a first down, keep the drive alive. We're coming down to a minute and a half remaining in the quarter. Third down. Again, we have three receivers. Neil uh, Fugo's in the slot. Neil's the lone back. And we got a pickoff. This is going to go. Oh, boy. Wow. Huge turnover. Connor LeFay picks that ball off. Threw it right to him. Yeah, he did. No tough play there. Our ball was right in his belly. We're going to see the replay right here. Rodgers has got time, and basically he never sees LeFay. Number 53, Connor LeFay with the interception for the Panthers. First and 10, Holliston at the Foxborough so 33 yard line. Key drive One here in the second half gets snuffed out. Third quarter. And Holliston will take over deep in Foxborough territory at the 33 yard line. You know, it's funny. We got, they, they got the interception. When they started rushing the passer harder and blitzing more, that opened up. That yeah. opened up. It was, that, was a, that was a tough throw right there. And this oh, boy. Will, this will be Ellington. Elkinson, I mean. Yep. And he's going to fight ahead for the carry six down yards. To the he's a tough yards. guy. Line. Tough guy. Second down and three. Correction, second down and two for the Panthers. Ball at the 25-yard line. All right, we're going to see again. 48 Just seconds remaining in the third quarter. Inside handoff and... Elkinson, uh, again, he's had a good night himself. A couple key runs, a couple nice blocks, too, on uh, some plays that resulted in big gains or scores for Hollison. Let's go, big O! Second down. So we have a second and three. We're under 30 seconds remaining in the quarter. And Athey's going to keep this one. And basically, two stiff arms. He put, just carry. pushes the Foxborough defenders down. Like they're standing still. Yeah. to the 26-yard line. Third down and a long two for the Panthers. There you go. So third, third and three, ball to 26, 18 seconds remaining. Third quarter action, Foxborough trails 28-13. Third down. And a keeper again by Athey, and he's first gonna have down. first down. Athey on the carry down to the 20 yard line. And that play and is good for a Panther. First down. It's like a quarterback counter. Yeah. And he's he's run at the perfection all night long. Matter of fact, Nolan Rogers run, has Hollis run that play four or five Fox times himself. Uh, maybe not tonight, but for, for success, it's a, yeah. it's, a, it's a very good play if it's run properly. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Hollis the 28, you see, Fox Fox 13. He uses that uh, back as a lead blocker yep. and then just goes in behind his line. And uh, again, when you're as strong and uh, athletic as that young man is, it makes it a little bit easier when you give him some help because he's he's just been cutting through the Foxville defense all night long. Yep. So at the end of three, uh, Halson with a 15 point lead, 28-13. There's 11 minutes left in this game. The winner will advance to the division final next week. The loser will fall into the consolation bracket. And uh, then there's still Thanksgiving ahead of us. So uh, The uh, Warriors. Um, I, th I think, I may be wrong on this, but I think we play the loser of Dennis Yarmouth in Middlebrook. Could be. Could be. If we lose this game. Yeah, because basically all, all the teams that didn't qualify for the playoffs have all been assigned their three games. Right. And um, First and ten you know, basically the teams the that Fox were in the 18 brackets sort of like play off against each other. So As we start if that is the case, Doug, that's going to be another tough game. Yeah, it could be. Two tough teams there, too. Absolutely. And we're not even sure if that would end up as a home game. Right. That's right. Foxville showing blitz, and we're going to see a handoff to the up back this time. One of the few times that that's happened. Is, Number 11, uh, Matt McIsaac on the carry. He fights ahead down for to about the 13 yard six line. yards. Uh, Second down, down and three. Down to the uh, 13, a gain of seven, actually. 
I don't think I've seen backs all. I know we're we're uh, applauding these kids from Holliston as well. We should. They're, they're they're excellent football players and well coached. But I don't think I've seen kids make as many cuts as I've seen in, it, in this game all year long. Yeah. From 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 the backfield. Oh, there's a big hit. Wow. But Isaac on the carry, tackled for Liam a loss. Liam Whiting, first time we've called his number tonight. Yep. And, uh, wow, he just, McIsaac Third just got annihilated on that. That one, that's one of the few times tonight we've laid a lick on somebody here. Mike, can we see that again, please? Just to see where Whiting came from. Yep. We're going to go back third to live down. action. So we got All third right. and five, ball in the 15. And again, Foxborough showing blitz. And we're going to see Bethy oh. keep it. And he throws, oh, the oh, ball could boy. have been picked. Pass is Throw it behind incomplete. his uh, intended receiver. Brings up fourth down and five. All right, let's, let's take a look at this previous play, Dougie. Come on. And Whiting, Whiting just comes right from. up the middle, boom. Yeah, untouched. Yeah, untouched, untouched. Thank you. Fourth down and five, line of scrimmage is the 15 yard line. Time was the intended receiver on that last pass. The ball was behind them, and uh, Foxborough just missed an opportunity to come away with an interception there. So, Halston's going for it. Athy back in the shotgun. He's back to throw. He's got pressure, a lot of pressure. He's scrambling, and he's going to be he's brought gonna down. He's going to be sacked. There you go. So, Foxborough yeah, prevails. Sacked for a Again, loss. Again, Uzanidis is one of the guys line. in there. Develis is in there. Um, we, had, we had five kids five in there. Five kids, so, over. First and ten. So a nice draw by the Warrior defense there. <laughs> Panther fans, the Hollis the first Panther guy through, cheerleaders. Not quite sure. Finished these, second these in the numbers competition are hard to read. First I'm telling you. Division Boy, three in their but, uh, competition. They go on to the regionals. Well, Whiting again was in there. Like I said, Develos, Uzanidis. So a big fourth down stop for Foxborough. Still gives them a chance here. 9.39 remaining in the contest. Got to put together a drive here. First and 10, Foxborough. Not going to have too many more chances. At their own 25-yard line. Rodgers again back to pass. He pump fakes. He's going deep. And this ball is overthrown. Pass is incomplete. Yeah, about five yards too long. Yeah. Number five, Derek DeCastro back in coverage for the Panthers. I'm, I'm thinking Stops in my mind that we do not have to go ten. long here Nine all minutes, the time. 32 seconds. You work, the work some quarter. underneath stuff. We got enough time to go uh, to get yeah. two, uh, two touchdowns back if yeah. we, uh, if we, yeah, you're right. We don't have to go deep. Uh, again, use, use that screen pass, maybe get somebody out in the flat, a little underneath, you know, but we've thrown long a couple of times here now and uh, to no Baseball. avail. Yeah, to no avail. So we're going to see the handoff, and this will be Neil. And he's got about he's five. Got five. Maybe Neil yeah. on the carry. Up to up the 30-yard line. Once again, Chipman on the tackle, 54. Good run by Neil. Third down and five for Foxborough. Mm -hmm. Foxborough, no huddle. Comes right out. Now we're going to flag down. And again, we're going deep. And just so outside complete, the reach of Austin Ryan. On the play at the 37-yard line. Not sure who this is going to be on. Flag, flag came in real quick on the snap, so good possibility this is offsides on the defense. Yeah, what do we got? Again, yeah, we. It's on the defense. On the defense, not sure. Penalty on the Panthers. I don't know what that call was. Illegal participation, too many men penalty on the Panthers. Maybe have too many guys out on the field. Maybe. Possibility. First and 10, Foxborough. Yeah. They called no. it quickly. Did they yeah. count them up? Illegal participation. I'm assuming stars. it's too many guys. Stars, right? And we're going to see a handoff to Neal. He's got a good block by Booth. Oh, uh, Austin Ryan. Oh, he should Austin not should have stayed outside. Yeah. Neil on the carry all the way down to the Panther 40-yard line. Boy, he looks quick, doesn't yeah, he? he does. He's, he's had a good game. But Austin Ryan right there had a chance to make a nice block to get him uh, sprung maybe for the distance. But Keon Neal with a good runoff tackle behind Brian Booth's block. Let's take a look at Neil here. He hits the hole hard. And great, First nice cut. Foxborough at the Panther 40-yard line. Yeah. Well, We'll take the gain. It's a huge gain, and now we're on the 41 of Holliston, and we're going to see Neil again. 
And he's going to be bottled up in the backfield. No, he breaks Boy, the tackle. He, he, he made three yards out of nothing right and there's there. There's a late flag Another again. flag coming in. Neil on the carry. I think we got a late hit here. Not sure what we have here, but. Flag on the play. Dead ball foul on the Panthers. <laughs> Personal foul on the Panthers. Well, earlier, Frank, you made a comment about there hasn't been too many flags, but yeah. I'll tell you what, the majority of them have been on that takes the ball all the yeah. way down to the 24 yard Sitting on the halls and sideline. First and 10, There's first There's a lot of comments going on that. That maybe the refs aren't calling a good game for yeah, their huh? team. Yeah. <laughs> Pond is in the backfield with Rogers. And Rogers once again is going to throw the ball, and he's got is that Gilreath, I believe. It is, and he's going to pull it down complete. inside the ten. Nice catch, nice inside throw, the first down. Line. And again, this is kind of what I was talking about. First down under the stuff. Go for the Warriors. You know, exactly right. You got exactly some good receivers. Right. Don't have to go deep. And Rogers stands tall in the pocket, makes a great throw. And Gilreath reaches up with that big frame, and Neil Neil's, Neil's getting up in here. Stuffed. Neil on the carry. Wow, tackled by our host of Panthers. A lot, 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 lot of black shirts surrounding him that time. So no gain, we'll be second and nine again. Ball spot at the nine. Eight minutes line. left in the second game. Second down and goal to go for Second Fox and Burrow. nine. All important drive here. Foxborough needs, needs a touchdown. They can't sell for anything less at this point. Second down. Rogers again with the pass. He's got an out pattern to Austin Ryan with great hands. Forces a missed tackle. And get pulls down on the ground. No, the ground, ground can't cause the fumble. So he's down, he's down he's about down. the two yard line. So really nice effort here by Austin Ryan. Very nice job. Down to the two yard line. Good, Third again, down, safe pattern. Nice, nice low catch. Yep. Kid nice. has real good hands, and yep. then he just fights ahead. And again, the ground cannot cause a fumble. So we have a third and two. Uh, ball on the two. Goal to goal. Goal to go. And uh, we're coming down under, under seven minutes now. So let's keep this on the ground. Third down. And again, we're going to see Neil. And he's balled up in the middle of the field. I think he's got a yard, but that's about it. Neil stopped at the goal line. Now, well, here you go. Oh, we're obviously going for it. Yep, this Foxborough season will be right here. We're going to call a timeout. Line. It'll Not be a bad idea. And goal to go for Foxborough. Where do you go, Dougie? I, basically, I, I go up, I put Rodgers underneath center. I go long count, maybe draw him, and then I go a little off. I don't go right Time up the middle. Out. I go a little off. I think I go. Warriors. Who's your, who's your best lineman? Slide out to him, maybe. Just just myself. I think taking a snap four yards deep isn't always the wisest. Oh, that's thing. what they did last week, and he and he had the quarterback sneak. Yeah. For a touchdown. And you know, was, Rogers a big boy. Yeah, he's, he's a tall he's kid. Tall kid, and he's got. You know, our line is not huge, but they're athletic, and if uh, they're tough enough, they're tough enough. And I, I just think that uh, they're going to jam the middle, and if he just slides out two bodies, he might be able to get in. Yeah. And then you have Neil pushing him from behind, anyhow. There you go. Right. The old Reggie Bush. <laughs> yeah. Right. Whatever help you can get. Well, we got about uh, well, two thirds of a yard here. The two-yard line. Now they say it's spotted at the two, but. So it's tough to see from here. Yeah, it the is, ball but is. they're sputting it. If it's at the two, then, you know, that's a little, it makes things a little bit different. You certainly could try and bounce Neil outside. He's got the speed to get out there. He is the long back. And they're going to go with Neil. And the oh. ball pops out. Wow. 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 No turnovers, and all of a sudden there's three. Yeah. Oh, Neil, Neil took a shot there. Oh, that ball popped up like, like a high fly. That was a helmet right on the ball, Doug. Had to be. Wow, he, he wasn't even close to the end zone when that ball came out. 
This had, like you said, Frank, this had to be like a helmet on the ball. Six minutes, 23 yeah. seconds yeah. remaining in the fourth quarter. So the Warriors Hollister put together a real nice drive after holding Halston, and they leave it up at the four yard line on a fourth uh, down turnover. And uh, time is running out on Foxborough right now, 6.23 remaining. And Halston's back to the double wing. And we're going to have a little keeper in the middle, I think. They got to kill some clock, and they got to move. They got to get a couple of first downs here. Foxworth's got to use the timeouts uh, accordingly. Yep, they've used one. And we've so got to so and we've got to tackle the football is what we have to do. Yep. Gain of one in the play. Second down, nine. Yeah, you're, on, you're not seeing the hurry up offense now. Oh no! We're going to take every thirty bit of that thirty seconds off the clock. So, again, Barrett's the quarterback. Well, he has been all night in this double wing formation. And we're gonna see Athy take the toss and he's gonna cut it back towards the middle. He's still moving, he's got about five yards. And off number 12. That's a pretty good pickup when everybody yeah, knows you're coming. Yeah. And off for number one, Jack Barrett. <laughs> Third down and four, line of scrimmage, the 10 yard line. So they get it out to Five the minutes, 10. 20 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Let's go boys, let's go big O. Fox base, basically he's got all 11 guys within seven yards of the line Let's of scrimmage. And we're gonna see the counter to the opposite way. And, uh, this is El Elkinson. 90, 90 yards. 90 yards for the touchdown. And that'll basically wrap this contest up as Foxborough Basically had everybody up to stop that, and they got hit with the counter. Quick hole, boom, gone. 90 yard run from scrimmage by number three, Zach Elkinson, for the touchdown. Nice play by Elkinson, well, well played. Four minutes, 45 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Once he hit that level, it was all over. Makes the score he put the afterburners on, he was yeah. gone. Bucks ball, 13. So if you can, we'll attempt to kick. All right, we're going to come back to a replay. And the kick is good. Making the score, Holliston 35, Foxball 13. You're going to see everybody up, and then here's the counter to the inside. And he's got three blockers at the point of attack, and once he gets through, he, he doesn't need speed. much of a uh, hole. No, he doesn't. He's quick, boy. So well, I, I'm sure, uh, Frank, if, if, if you can uh, – Hear me down there, and you can, you can dig it up. Uh, how many yards have they gotten so far? To me, it looks like they've got over 400 yards I, offense. I would think so. Because even the, uh, that Ronnie Martin on crutches right yeah, there. That's not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. And, and, and the reason you say that, not just because of tonight's contest, but he's still looking ahead at Thanksgiving. Two more football games and, to go. Uh, you know, you need that young man for that Thanksgiving Day game, even though it's not playoff related, it is, it is Turkey Day. And, uh, it is. A good chance of winning that game this year. Absolutely. So short kick, again, this is the up guy, Tommy Rogers feels that. He's brought down after about a five yard return. So 4.41 remaining, Foxborough trails now Ball by 22 by points. number seven, Tom Rogers. 13. Tackle by number 13, Andrew Schneelock. Schneelock on the tackle, and we're going to see uh, first and 10 from the Foxborough 30-yard line. I'll tell you, Doug, it's going to take a real good team to beat this Holliston team. They're yeah, very, well. very well organized, very disciplined, uh, except for the penalties, uh, the uh, extracurricular penalties. Yeah. They're a disciplined football team, especially First offensively. They were averaging 41 points coming in here. They've gotten 35, and we think we've got a pretty good defense. Yeah. And uh, I, I would I would say that um, on both sides of the ball, they're pretty Time solid. Um, Panthers. They're very you quick. Talked, you talked about the offense, but even defensively, like you said, you don't see a lot of kids with bellies hanging over their belt. Yeah. Uh, they're very agile. Um, they close fast. 
Um, they're they're just well trained and well they coached. They well are. coached. And, and, you know, and if they, if they can, I'm sure in, in the off week the, the coaches will uh, address some of the uh, this unsportsmanlike type of things because it really hasn't been plays where um, they you know they've uh, had holding calls or or clipping calls things like that. It's it's been after the whistle type of things. Um, you know, a late hit. Uh, you know. An update from the MIAA. Whatever. Middlebo, 42. Dennis Yarmouth, 42. Wow. There's one lighting up the, uh, the old pinball machine right there. 84 points scored in the Middlebo Dennis Yarmouth game. 42 apiece. Wow. Well, wow. he's right. All right, here we go. Put it up. First down. So Rogers has no choice but to throw, and he's got underneath there. Oh, and we're just gonna see some feet get caught up there. Gilreath Gil Gil was the intended receiver. So second and ten. Rogers again back to pass, and. Uh, a little no too long. Too long for Buzziak. Incomplete. Tended for number yeah, three. A pressure in his face that time. Balaz Buzziak. Third down, 10. 428. On the clock. Clock throw the third and 10 now. Real cold night here at Hollis, and I got to tell you, it is cold. Got to be in the 30s right now. Yeah. So third and 10, ball at the 30. We're going to see a draw play to Neal. And Neal's got some room to run. It's a block. Oh, a block in the boy, back. he's the block in the back. There's this is coming back. Barry. There's a flag at the 42. Coming back. Line. He was right in front of us. He'll, he'll probably still end up with a first down or pretty close to it. But uh, it's going to be a spot foul moving 10 yards back. So if anything, it'll bring up a third and short. But uh, Tommy Rogers, the uh, the guilty party right there, right in front of the referee. So block uh, the back, it, Foxborough. Uh, the camera view right there, fortunately, uh, unfortunately, let's say, is the. Uh, oh. Here we go. Let's take a peek Money at the block. for a first right, down. It's right there. Right there in the back. Right there. Penalty backs it up Doesn't to take the much. Foxborough 48 yard line. But it's enough for first down. So again. Neal with a nice run. Penalty doesn't take away the first down, just basically takes 10 yards off the end run. So we're at 418. And Foxborough has to strike quickly. Halston basically playing a little bit deeper first now. First down. They're willing to give up short gains here just to kill clock. And Rogers has an empty backfield. And he's got pressure. He's going to have to scramble, and he's picked off again. Oh, this one's dropped. Oh, he was, almost uh, had a pick he was six. gone. He was gone. Three, he started running before wow. he had Second down, ten. Take a look at this one again, Mike. And, he, and he's still, after he bobbles it three times, almost comes up with it. Yeah, let's take a look. Zach Elkinson right here. He's just reading Roger's eyes. Yeah. And... Boom, wow. boom, boom. Wow. Yeah, if he if he maintains possession, he's gone. Oh yeah. So no harm. Second down, 10 yards, ball in the Foxborough 48, 409 remaining. Let's do it again, D. Second down, 10. Let's go, D. Nail in the backfield with Rogers. We see Buzniak in motion and we're going. Deep. Oh, this ball's got pass. too much air under it. Oh, look at that. That, that might be offensive pass yeah. interference. Holy cow. Yeah. I think they missed that one. Incomplete. Yeah. No flags on the play. No flags. It looked like we were holding them. Yeah. Third down, 10. Well, we got about four minutes left in this football game, and it's uh, it's been a pleasure. You know, Foxborough really hasn't played that badly, Doug. Yeah, no, they haven't. You know, they just they just haven't played as good. They haven't stopped. They haven't stopped anybody on offense yeah, or couple, on couple defense. A couple times we did. You know, we, we just couldn't capitalize. Yeah. 
And uh, here we go, we got a third and 10, and we're gonna have a quick out pass. To, we're gonna get a first down out of this. That's uh, Ryan. Ryan on the screen. Yep, it is yep. Ryan. Completion good down to the 42 yard line. Tough kid that Ryan. Well, he is, a, 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 he's an underclassman, so we'll see more of him next year. Good. Gets a couple good blocks here. Lyman, they're all out there helping him. So first down, under four minutes. And Rogers again, he's gonna be under pressure. He's gonna get sacked yeah. here. 66 Rogers is uh, Zach Stir by number Staring. 66, Zach Staring. So Rogers gets sacked. Loss on the play, second yards. down and long. Coming down to three minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Not much Nolan Rogers can do here. I mean, he had all kinds of guys around him, so. Nobody blocking. Nobody blocking on that one, or at least not blocking well enough. So brings up second a second and, and uh, for Foxborough. Second and 16, they're calling it on the scoreboard. Neil the long back. We're going to see Ryan in motion. And Rogers is going to drop back again. He's going to find uh, Ryan. Nice play. Pass is complete. Again, like I said, he, he'll, he'll be back next year. Down to the 35-yard line. I like him. He's very, a tough very, kid. Very athletic young man. Yep. Third down, four. Uh, twins to both sides now. Foxborough going no huddle. Neal in the backfield. Rogers hands off to Neal. Neal's going to bounce it outside. He's going to have first down yardage. And he basically carry, he gets out, out of bounds. Uh, he's got a problem in his knee now. Boy, he's had a terrific game tonight, Neil. He's been down. He's been down two or three times. Yeah, he has. From uh, shots or whatever. He may, he may, have, he may be cramped. Yeah. I don't know if that's, a, if that's a cramp or not. We'll see. Really, see the end of the run right there. So his left leg, he's pulling. Base, basically, his knee hits the turf, and this this field, uh, a turf field, is is not uh, newer. It, it's it's been around for probably about ten years now, and uh, like most of these turf fields. At that point in time, they become more like a parking lot. Steel. Yeah, especially on cold nights. Yep. A lot of the cushions gone. You know, I, yeah, this is this is not the field turf. This is the old. This the, is the old stuff. The old yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, I remember playing uh, with the, my Pop Warner team over here when it was first put in about ten years this ago. This is Nick's phone. And everybody, oh, well, it. it's a nice turf field, of course. You know, weren't many of them. Or we yeah, can pass see, it down. see him down on the ground there. It looks like it's on, a cramp. People, That's probably a good sign that it is a cramp. Thank but, you. But uh, these fields, uh, when they were first developed, they were a promise to people 20 years. Yeah. 30 seconds and remaining in the fourth quarter. The Middleborough up by seven. Uh, Mansfield got rid of theirs an eight. Yeah. So that, that's going to be a thing of uh, interest. Well, Neil's going to have to hobble off, it looks like, the cramp. But that'll be a thing to keep in mind when Foxborough tries to develop their uh, complex at the high school that by the time they seek the funding and everything else to get everything built around it, there could be time for the, the turf to be replaced. You know, again. you know the funny thing about that, Doug, is 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 the the turf is worn by the weather more than it's worn by the players. Yeah, yeah, true. The conditions. Yeah. First and ten, Foxborough. So Foxborough picks up a first down on Neil's run. He's out of the game now temporarily. Jake Pond is now the back in there with Rogers. We're at the 15-yard line. And Pond is all open out in the flat, but this ball's going to be intercepted. No. We have a flag in the end zone. Yeah, I think we got pass interference on them, I Interception. believe. Interception, yeah. Number 13, Schneelock, there's a flag in the end Schneelock, zone. Schneelock uh, pick, picks the ball off on the deflection. Flag in the end zone. But there is a flag in the end zone, and uh, we're going to see if uh, Halston's going to maintain possession or if it's going to be Fox Pro's ball. I, th I think it's against Foxborough. Pass interference against Pass Foxborough, interference. so that Foxborough. will be a penalty yep. is declined. First down, Panthers. So Halston basically should kill the clock here. Uh, Foxborough once again the second half turnovers. Been, the, the down, down, down the, the Warriors the offense Panthers moved the ball the very well, only to turn it over Panthers deep 30 in, the, in the drive. Line. Two rough rough, rough half by Nolan Rogers, I think, huh? Yeah. A couple of couple of interceptions, a couple of sacks. Yeah. Uh, that ball there. Both uh, both backs gone. Yeah. That ball there uh, off of uh, Gilry's hands, but he even had uh, he held on to it. That was coming back on a uh, deflection, uh, on a uh, pass interference. I'm sorry. Pass him up. We 
And we're going to see the inside handoff to Athy. Athy. And he's going to pick up about six, seven yards right there. I'm not sure Athy at this point the in the game, might be running that kick. No. Line. no. Nothing Two but bad things can happen at this game. point in time. Exactly. Ball spot at the We've seen two of our line. bad things Second tonight. Four. Yeah. yeah, this is this is where you, you milk the 30-second clock and basically you take a knee. Take a knee, Fox go home. not calling any timeouts. They're going to let this clock run down too, but you don't want to risk an injury to one of your better players, actually your best player for sure right there. And now we're going to see a straight ahead run by the fullback. Wow. That young man had a touchdown if he had stopped I don't running. I don't think he should have stopped. Yeah, Sam, Sam Radcliffe. On the carry, Sam, all the way down to the Sam Radcliffe line. Uh, just breaks one off there. Man, he gets, he gets 20 yards from the end zone and stops. Plays the cut. For the Panthers. Now he, he's gone at this point in time. Yeah, just keep and going. For some reason, he thinks he's going to cut back yeah. and he allows the defense to catch him. Yeah. One minute, 20 seconds remaining in the clock. So 120 remaining. Ball's at the 10-yard line of Foxborough. First and goal again for Halston. And they're gonna take now a we're going to take uh, a knee. That's a smart thing and a nice thing to do. Jack Barrett in the victory formation takes the knee. I'm, go I, I'm going to bet dollars to donuts they, that One they've got at least 450 yards in total offense or maybe Easily. 500. Easily. Well, you just, you just saw a 50-yard run right there. Exactly. That's Panther right. fans, may I have your attention, please? Tonight will mark the 100th victory for Coach Todd Kiley at Holliston High School. Well, congratulations to Coach Kiley on his 100th victory tonight. Came at a good time. Congratulations to Coach Kiley and all the coaches, and especially Coach Murph, who's been here for all 100 as well. Well, Halston, uh, everything that they were advertised, Frank. And, uh, Number one, Jack Barrett you know, takes a knee. They will advance to 9 and 0. Fox Third Pearls down, 12. Playoff run will come to an end. Uh, now sitting 5 and, and 3. 6 and 3. 6 and 3. Six and, three. And, and the clock three. will run out stand corrected. in regulation. And, um, with the score, the Holliston Panthers and, uh, we'll 35. We'll see who they get next week. Uh, Fox we'll also Warriors see if it's a home 13. game or a road game. Let's hear it for both of these teams uh, as they meet at midfield. Put up a decent fight, but they just didn't have the horses to keep up with Holliston to tonight. That's a, that's a great football team right there, and I think they're a they're, they're a well, on they're one win away from going to the Super Bowl, the so we thank you for coming out I'm not sure who they have, have to play, weekend. but, we'll yeah. see you next but uh, that is a Carl very, Kingley. very good football good team, an odds-on favorite to win the Super Bowl, I in my say, opinion. I would say so. Very, very athletic, very... 483. 483 yards of rushing right there. I mean, that's just unheard of. Ridiculous. It is, and uh, Foxborough has a pretty solid defense, but... They, they had no answer for Athy tonight, and then or, uh, Elkinson. Elkinson, uh, this young man just got just, 55 yards yeah. on, the, on the carry. Yeah, it's a great football team. Halliston's a great right. football team. And uh, Fox, Foxborough actually had a decent night yardage-wise, too, with 261 yards. Yep. But again, the turnovers really proved to be costly in the second half because a couple times we made the stops on Halston, especially down there, you know, inside yep. the 10, march all the way down, only to turn the ball over. Um, you can't do that against good. You can't do it against any team. Expect yeah. to win, but a good that team, you know, it's know. not good at all. So, uh, once again, we want to thank uh, Halston uh, Schools and Athletic Department for allowing Cable 8 to come over here to Halston to broadcast this game. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have the uh, outcome we were hoping for, but uh, for the guys and gals working uh, for us tonight, endured the cold weather. I mean, how frank, uh, we work with some good people. There's some tremendous people here. This is a great crew. All volunteers, yeah. unbelievable. And uh, thanks again to Chuck Robbins for filling in for me early on. And it's always good to see Chuck, a longtime booster. And, uh, he may actually be joining Frank at Thanksgiving. Well, I hope so. I hope so, too. And so for uh, all the Cable crew, uh, Doug Seuss, Frank Tafoon, and Chuck Robbins signing off. Good night, Fox. Bro.
said they were going to come out throwing the football. Thank you for watching this Table 8 sports coverage of the 2014 football season. Game coverage made possible through the efforts of Foxborough Cable Access volunteers. You can watch all the Warrior home games Mondays at 8 on Comcast Channel 8 and Verizon Channel 39. You can also catch us online at fcatv.org and follow us on Facebook and on Twitter.